Hey guys, it's Liddy here from LA3D, and today we're going to be testing out and seeing if Polymaker's Polysmooth Filament is paintable with different kinds of paints. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so I have actually 3D printed a couple of these dinosaurs. Now, this is a sneak peek of one of the spray-painted dinosaurs, and uh, basically I've printed a bunch of these on my TiVo Flash, uh, in uh, Polymaker's Poly Smooth Natural or Transparent looking filament. Um, they were all printed on there together and they came out great. And then I cleaned them up with this, I took all the support off and then put them in the polisher and smoothed them for about an hour, total of an hour, just to make sure all the layer lines and everything were uh, basically melted away by the rubbing alcohol and they came out very nice. I let them sit for over a week, two weeks maybe. Um, when I was gone on my trip to completely harden and now I am going to be showing you guys multiple different um, paints that we will be testing out on this uh, material to see which is better to use um, in hand painting your materials or your prints um, for example for like an action figure or just some kind of little um, thing that you want to show off or maybe a toy you want to make custom toys and we're going to be painting them with acrylic watercolor and spray paint um, just to see uh, all the different types, uh, just a couple different types of paints to be testing out on this filament. So let's get right into that and start painting. Alright guys, so basically we have um, all three of these dinosaurs here. One will be painted with this watercolor base paint, and then another with this um, acrylic paint, which is just from Hobby Lobby. And this, I believe I got at TJ Maxx or something, but you can get watercolor anywhere. And then the last one will be uh, painted with spray paint which is just going to be simple spray paint so these uh, once again are all printed in uh, Polymaker's Polysmooth Translucent Filament um, it has been smooth for a total of an one hour and they've been hardening for about two weeks now I usually don't leave them for that long um, but I just haven't gotten to this video so they are super smooth and um, there's no sanding to be needed because that is the whole reason we're testing this out um, so yeah, I'm going to do a couple time lapses of just painting and I'll be doing multiple coats um, of the paints on each dinosaur just to test out how well they stick to the actual filament. Okay, so I'm just going to be using this cap here for putting the paint on and I'm going to start with the watercolor. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is instead of actually making this super runny um, because it is a paste already, it's not like the ones you have to add a lot of water to, I'm just going to... Um, leave it as this instead of adding water just to make it um, applying it way easier I'm just gonna start painting this and I know I definitely will need more than one coat once again so I'm just gonna do one plain coat on here and then um, just change it up do the other one with the um, acrylic and then I'll just spray paint the other one uh, simply just with uh, neutral color Alright, so as you guys can already see, this is the acrylic uh, paint that I'm painting on this dinosaur. And as you can see, it is super, super light. Um, I believe if I would have painted or printed this in the white, it would be even lighter. Um, it's more translucent, so this will definitely need more than one um, coat, uh, as you can see, because it is so clear. Um, so I can already tell, like, this is going to dry clear. So finally, as you guys can see here, um, this is the spray painted one. Uh, I just did one side with this fancy uh, blackish gold spray paint, uh, bronze looking, and then the other side with just some primer. And as you can see, there's literally no lines on here. And I can already tell that this is even by scratching the actual um, material or the paint, it's not coming off on either side. So uh, if you want to use this filament to make uh, action figures or something spray paint definitely fits very very well um, for just the look and it sticks and looks great so um, I can already tell that uh, spray paint is probably going to be the best option for base coats instead of having to hand paint everything alright so basically as you guys can see here um, these both have um, actually two coats on both of them um, and you guys can't tell because 
of course you can't touch this but this is the one that is the watercolor and once again I will remind you that I did not add any water to this um, the little bit of watercolor that I used to paint it on here and unfortunately this is a little bit sticky it's a little tacky and I believe um, that's probably because we didn't add any water so it didn't really give anything to mix into it to allow it to dry fully so um, uh, I think the next layer I'm going to do I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water um, and then as you can see here a little bit our acrylic paint it has two coats on it um, and it's still a little uh, transparent but it's just um, not very matte I know there's a lot of different types of acrylic paint and this was super cheap um, but as you can see it's still kind of see-through um, and you can see here a little bit more on the tail um, and also when you paint it uh, it leaves little clumps and it like gaps up a little bit so you have to actually let it fully dry completely before um, doing any other other painting to it um, just because it just uh, basically chips off a little bit but that's because it's not dry so now we're gonna do another coat I'm gonna do another time lapse and um, then we're just gonna leave it at that three coats and check them out uh, how they turned out Alright, so uh, it's been about a day now from letting these both dry, and I also did just do a little bit of each of the colors, or each of the type of paint on the primer to also see how well that uh, went on and applied. So to our left here, this is the watercolor uh, version of the red, and once again it is a little sticky still, um, but I think if I let it dry a lot longer, um, than normal would with the acrylic it would become um, solidified as you can see here it's getting on my fingers so it's clearly not dry completely um, but it's just going to take a little bit longer than the acrylic would but as you can see here the coats um, were pretty decent as you can see right there there is a little gap um, but that is from not letting it dry completely before putting a new coat on um, but other than that this red looks really great on this little dinosaur and the coats went down pretty decent. Next what we have here this is the acrylic version um, and it actually did very nice now as you can tell it's a little bit more opaque than the other one um, but this does have three to four coats on it and as you can see up here I, I didn't get uh, an even layer so it's still a little bit transparent there um, but if I try scratch this as you can see it does come off um, which is very unfortunate and and that's not a good quality and I'll, I guess I will test this also and as you can see they both do come off um, unfortunately but that's just what the paint I guess will do if you don't put any primer on it so I definitely do recommend putting your uh, primer coat on it like this um, just gray primer and we can test the scratch here it does come off there and also here so uh, one other thing I do recommend is after you paint it definitely put a coat of clear spray paint on it to seal it all up so the scratching doesn't um, happen and so everything uh, stays solid and looks great in the end alright guys so that is basically it um, the paints have actually fully dried now and I did do another little testing on a, another dinosaur, and this one is which is plain acrylic. I believe there was a total of three layers for each color. And then I did um, put a final coat of clear spray paint on it, and I wanted to show you here that now there's no scratching away. So if you do use um, acrylic paint to uh, paint your models, definitely set it with... A couple coats of clear spray paint because then it will last a lot longer and it will look way better and to be totally honest when you are most likely painting a model it's probably going to be for um, like an action figure or something and you won't be scratching it so you don't really have to worry about that too much but other than that um, I do believe that Polymakers Polysmooth Filament definitely is paintable um, and I think it's as easy as it would be um, painting just like normal um, filament, uh, like PLA filament, without putting any spray paint on it. 
Um, but I do also recommend painting it with um, with primer first before you do hand paint it, just to make things a lot easier and actually give yourself a base coat before actually painting um, the model and getting it all ready to be prepared. Um, so that, once again, is the end of the video, and I hope you guys learned something. And if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, I will have a link to the model down in the description below um, on Thingiverse where you can get it. And then, once again, the paints are just from Hobby Lobby or anywhere else you can get them. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.